Hello, my dear friends. How are you doing? Hope you are having an amazing day and not having to deal with drama. Ready for new stories I have for you today? Let's go to the first one. And don't forget to listen to the end of the story, guys, to hear my insights. Enjoy the stories. And don't forget to like and subscribe. And of course, don't forget to leave a comment. My ex-husband, Evan, 28 male, and I, 28 female, married back in 2018, after six years of being together. During that time, I obviously met his whole family, and his grandma Erica and I became pretty good friends. Erica is a lot like my late grandma, and it was easy for me to connect with her because we're both into embroidery, cooking, and taking care of plants. Evan comes from an only boy's family. He has four brothers, and his father is Erica's only child. When we got married, she was so happy because they finally had another girl in the family. The first one being Evan's mother, who sadly passed in 2017. Evan proposed to me with Erica's engagement ring, the one Evan's grandfather proposed to Erica and Evan's father proposed to his mother with. The ring is beautiful and has Erica's birthstone, a sapphire, and isn't big at all. When his mother passed, Erica got the ring back and told Evan to give it to me when we were ready. He did in 2018, but we divorced in 2020 because Evan serial cheated on me for the past three years. The divorce broke Erica's heart because we used to live with her, and while I was packing my things, she approached me and told me that she wanted me to keep the ring because it was meant for a daughter, not for the spouse of her child grandchild. She said that if Evan's mother were alive, I wouldn't have it because she loved her as much as she loves me, but things happened this way, and the ring was mine no Evan attached. I tried to decline at first because it seemed like a family heirloom that I didn't have any right to keep, but Erica insisted and I thanked her. Even after I divorced Evan, I still have contact with her and I usually visit her pretty often. Problem is that about two months ago, Evan sent me a message asking for the ring because he wanted to propose to his girlfriend, the one he cheated on me with, and I said that Erica gave it to me as a gift and I wouldn't do it. He got furious and started to call me names for stealing his grandmother's ring and threatened me to steal it. I said that she gave it to me, but he didn't care. He wanted it back, and after a few weeks, he got into my house because I never changed the locks. Yeah, stupid of me, I know, but I thought he wasn't capable of it and took the ring while I was at the gym because he knows I don't wear it there as I'm afraid to lose it. I called the police on him and they found the ring on his fiance's finger and I didn't press charges because I only wanted the ring back. He's been messaging me non-stop because his fiance is threatening to leave him if she doesn't get the ring back because I humiliated her after the cops had to take it from her finger and that I'm his ex, I shouldn't have it. So I told him that I hoped he enjoyed being single because he's not getting my ring back. Erica is not aware of any of this because I don't want her to be in the middle of a conflict but Evan insists that if I just give him the ring back, there wouldn't be a conflict at all. OP is definitely not an a-hole, but I would suggest OP get something in writing from Erica stating that she freely gave OP the ring. If OP doesn't want to tell her about her grandson's poor behavior, OP could maybe do something like send her an email thanking her for the gift. With any luck, she might write back saying how much she wants her to enjoy it thereby confirming that it was hers and is now OP's. My uncle is a selfish, self-absorbed man who thinks the sun shines out of his and his family's behinds. I haven't liked him since I was around 10, but I usually bite my tongue and avoid him so that I don't cause any drama for my parents. Two weeks ago, his family came over to my parents' house for dinner. I was also there. During dinner, my uncle dramatically told us about how his oldest daughter, Hannah, is pregnant with a married man's baby. The married man has two small children with his wife. He went on a long rant about how terrible this whole situation is for Hannah and how if the married man was a real man, he would leave his wife for her so their baby can have a good life. Hannah was fake sniffling the whole time. He wouldn't stop the topic for over two hours, and when my husband came to pick me up, he roped him into the conversation too. Without giving my husband the backstory, my uncle coaxed him into agreeing with him that the married man should leave his wife and do the right thing by Hannah and her baby. 
Perhaps it's the fact that I have a toddler with my husband, and he was essentially getting my husband to say that if he had an affair, that his mistress and her baby would be more important than the son we already have. But I finally got fed up and asked him what was so special about Hannah. My aunt and uncle were really angry at me, and my husband quickly suggested we leave because my uncle was starting up on another rant no one cared about this time directed at me and how horrible what I said was. The only reason I think I may have been an a-hole is because my dad told me Hannah started really crying after we left and was going on and on about how everyone hates her now and how she had made a mistake. Am I the a-hole? I don't think OP is an a-hole. OP's uncle is the a-hole. The guy who got Hannah pregnant is also an a-hole for cheating. Hannah is an a-hole if she actually expects this guy to leave his wife for her. Sounds like she had a big reality check thanks to what OP said. She's realizing she's not above everyone else and deserving of special circumstances. Some people just don't believe their child can ever do wrong. And when they do, they'll go to all lengths to justify their actions, make excuses, etc. OP's uncle sounds like one of them. My mom, female, 54, and I went to run some errands today. My mom and I are super close, and I love her to pieces, so of course I was going to go with her to do them. We got to Vaughn's, and my mom was looking for a pound cake, and her purse hit a pie and knocked it off the shelf. Now, here's where the big situation that my mom is beyond mad at me occurred. The pie hit the ground and fell out of its container onto the floor. My mom waited for this man to exit and then grabbed the pie and put it back in its container, back on the dang shelf, and just left it there. I told her she had to go tell someone, because when they drop stuff on the floor at the bakery, they automatically throw it away. My mom gets mad at me and tells me to leave it alone. I told her no, go tell someone, or at least buy it, because you can't just do that. And the pie was a tad damaged, I saw it. My mom gets even madder and tells me to get over it and shut up. Anyway, we got home and my mom left for a walk with the dog, and I told my dad what happened. My dad got mad and told my mom what she did was wrong and she should have at least bought it, especially because there are freaking cameras. I wasn't there when my dad and her talked about it, but my mom texted me saying, and I quote, Really? This stupid thing you told Pappy? Go tell him you smoke pee and drank in Europe, or that you are not a virgin. Come and tell him, you dumb bee. So, am I the a-hole for telling my dad what she did because she is extremely mad at me and I'd never seen her like this? Edit. I believe I may be the a-hole because I haven't seen my mom act like this for a while, and she usually never does, so I think I may have pushed her too far. Edit 2. First, I'd like to address the pie itself. I know I should have told a worker, and I've been kicking myself over that fact but I was afraid my mom would get more angry since she was already telling me to leave with her. Second, some people seem conflicted about me telling my dad, and I only told my dad because my mom acted like she did nothing and that she didn't do anything wrong. I told my dad hoping she'd realize what she did was wrong, so if she ever did it again, somehow she wouldn't just react all rude and come to terms with it. Obviously I was wrong, but I really didn't expect her to send a text like that. And yes, I don't have a spine. I am a very quiet, barely saying no type of person. So unfortunately, I did just easily cave in to my mom. And on the other conflicting side, where people are saying I shouldn't be surprised since I'm hiding that from my dad. I was hiding it from my mom too, until a few months ago. My mom only knows that information because I told her thinking we were getting a closer relationship, since that's what she seemed to want to build as well. I didn't tell my dad any of that, because the only personal things my dad and I talk about are school or his work, and that's it. We talk about basic things, but never personal things. My mom is usually chill, like we watch Christmas movies and all, but I guess it did make me realize I was getting too comfortable telling her stuff, thinking she wouldn't use it against me. I of course will be limiting what I tell her going on, and I thank all of you for your responses, it means a bunch. Update. It's been two days since I posted, and in those two days, my mom and I barely talked. We said a few sentences to each other and didn't stay in a room together for longer than eight minutes. Today, I finally decided to have a conversation with her. I told her that telling dad what she did, I admit I was in the wrong for, and apologized for doing it, 
but her text hurt. And when she said that, it was like she just used what I told her and slapped it back in my face. Of course, she said, you told dad, and that was a betrayal to me. I told her I know it was, but you leveraged my personal life and my personal affairs over my head for dad. I just told dad about an incident she didn't even acknowledge she was in the wrong for. She avoided the pie issues and just said, well, you still told dad. And I said, I know, but you were threatening my secrets that even you wouldn't know if I didn't tell you them. Basically, she didn't see any issues with the message she sent me. And I broke down crying in front of her because I accepted the wrongdoings I did in that situation. And she just evaded all blame. I told her about my Reddit post and how people said her comment was cruel and was pointed out what people said about the comment. She got mad mad and ignored the entire text thing and said, you put this story on Facebook where people could see? How dare you? And then I told her it was an anonymous place. People didn't know who I am. She was still mad. And then I told her our relationship wasn't going to be the same. And she dismissed me. And I left to my room crying. I got to my room and like 30 minutes to an hour later, I got a text from my mom saying, I'm sorry I was mean, but I was hurt when you did that. That's why people say, calm down before you do anything. And that's what happened to me. I was very angry at the moment. And I was still emotional, so I ignored it. Plus, she did it on text, like, dang man, I told you in person. She then texted again 20 to 30 minutes later asking if I forgive her and I put my phone on Do Not Disturb and went to bed. I woke up and my mom was coming into my room. She apologized, and I apologized again, and then we hugged, and I cried. She told me she didn't mean to hurt me, and she was very sorry she did. And she said, I'm just like her, a B. It's an inside joke we have, but poor choice of words to have an inside joke with. And sometimes she gets too mad and says things without thinking. We then hugged again, and then she said that, you know I love you and something else, but I went in for another hug because I was emotional. We're going to get lunch tomorrow, fast food, and then watch a Hallmark Christmas movie as our Christmas tradition goes. I still will be a bit weary of her for a long while though, because to me, what she said did really hurt and I have to work a bit harder to get past it. I think OP's mom needs help. No normal mother would call her daughter like that. Also, what she did with the pie situation is bad. I have a two-year-old baby girl who is my life right now. She was conceived out of wedlock and after I had an affair while with my then fiance. I got the girl pregnant and kept this secret until a few weeks before my daughter was born. Once she found out, my fiance dumped me of course. I was going through some things at the time so the girl I cheated with wasn't much of a class act. She ended up in jail about seven months later and will be there for a long time for child endangerment and depossession. Luckily, my daughter is only in my hands now. My daughter being a result of my sleeping around is kind of like the elephant in the room. Most of us never talk about it because, frankly, it's embarrassing for me. And I'm not sure if I ever want her to know how she was made. I say most people because my big sister loves to bring up how awful I am. She got divorced from her high school sweetheart five years ago because he cheated on her multiple times. She's bitter and is now taking it out on me and my daughter. Two Sundays ago, we had a family dinner with her kids, my daughter, our parents, and our younger sister. Before dinner, we were chilling in our living room. After talking for a while about how we want our kids to grow up, she said, well, let's hope your daughter grows up more like your girlfriend than her mommy or daddy. I asked what was wrong with me, and she said that my daughter was going to have tons of men that want her someday, so she needs to learn how to not run around on her partners, and obviously, I can't teach her that. I was offended, but I let it slide, because she likes to say stupid things like this a lot. We finally sat down to eat and she was still cracking jokes at my expense. The final straw was when she told my girlfriend that, if we get engaged, she'd better get ready for another baby, because Mr. Man W over there might want to slip into another attic behind another fiancé's back. I was incredibly pissed off. My girlfriend hates hearing about this, and I don't like her having to think about how much I messed up two years ago. I also feel like it implies that I am ashamed to have my daughter from that situation, which I am not. I told her she needed to stop acting like a bee. She told me she would if I learned to keep it in my pants. This escalated into a yelling fight over dinner. 
Eventually, I got fed up with this and decided to leave with my party. While getting up, my mom told me I was acting immature and needed to start thinking like an adult and not argue with my sister. This set me off even more and I left without saying a word to my family. Since that night, I've gotten calls and messages saying I needed to give an apology and I have refused every time. My girlfriend says I reacted too harshly, but she understood where I came from. I haven't talked to my sister since. Am I the a-hole? Edit. Okay, I left this out, but at a point in my life, before me and my current girlfriend got together, I may have been a serial cheater. I have cheated on every girlfriend or partner I've been with, except my girlfriend, at least once. I had some severe self-worth problems and emotional issues. I ducked up, and I hate to say this, but I didn't learn my lesson, until I cheated on two other girls between my ex-fiancé and current girlfriend. But I have changed for the better. OP's sister clearly has issues of her own and is taking them out on OP. Crappy move roping your girlfriend into it as well. She's definitely a bigger a-hole. That said, the thing she's taking an issue with, OP's cheating, is a valid point. OP's actions have had consequences for more than just OP. Either OP's daughter will find out about this as she gets older, or OP's entire family will continue to indefinitely lie to her. That's a position OP's choices put them in. Eventually, I think OP will find that this isn't something he can just sweep under the rug and forget about. By the looks of it, OP's sister, at least, isn't going to shut up about it.